Okay, so today I'm looking at a organic painting application known as MyPaint. Now, uh, I've actually recommended this to a few other people before, and they've actually found it, um, digital artists, especially those who have uh, graphics tablets, they've actually found it quite useful and quite productive. So basically this application is, as you would have guessed, a painting application, and you have a large array of brushes, uh, that you can choose from here, including ballpoint pens, markers, brushes, charcoal, uh, you can do finger smudging, blending sponges, you, you name it. And they've got all types of different, uh, different categorizations of brushes, um, and I'm not exactly sure, obviously we've got um, words in other languages here, but I'm not exactly sure if they are terms or whether that's just me being ignorant. But either way, for anybody who knows what they're doing with art, they're going to see that this has quite a number of brushes. Now, of course, you've got a color wheel at the top here, and, uh, and the layout is entirely customizable, so you can, um, you can customize it and, and pimp it out however you like it. As any good graphics editor has, there are layers, so you can start a new layer and add stuff on top as you go along. And you've also got options here to save it as a scrap piece of paper, to refer back to it later, or if, then you can of course export it into all your favorite formats. And you can see here it has quite a few JPEGs, PNGs, open raster, and formats of that nature. You've got a few color selectors here as well, but basically this is all open to the user's creativity, and it really doesn't get in the way as far as the layout of it is concerned. You can have as many or as little windows open as you like, and, uh, and it is all keyboard uh, navigatable, so you can uh, do most of this stuff with just the keyboard. But as you can see here, it's uh, it responds to how much pressure you put down or how long you spend on a particular spot. Uh, so no matter what color you choose, um, you're going to get a very realistic uh, you're going to get a re very realistic result. Now, because of the fact that I am not a very good artist at all, uh, I am going to have a look at the website here, and they've got some pretty fantastic examples of what this program is capable of. Um, so definitely, I'll, I'll put links to their website in the show notes, and you can have a look at that. But really, they do put a great deal of, uh, of screenshots here for you to look at. And it is quite amazing what some people have come up with using this program. So it is available, of course, for Linux distributions and for Windows as well. So Windows users are not left in the dark when it comes to a free organic painting application. So you, you could potentially save a lot of money here if it doesn't, if you don't need the advanced plugins that some of the more expensive proprietary options have. Definitely for freelance artists, definitely look at it. And anybody who's into graphic design that needs a bit more finesse a bit more control than uh, programs like GIMP and Inkscape. For illustrations, I think it's pretty nice. Once again, that's all from me today. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, consider subscribing if you like this kind of content, and I shall see you again on Monday with another distro review. I'm going to try to get into my routine again of a distro review on Monday and a app review on Fridays. But definitely check it out, it's a worthwhile application and it's one that I've definitely recommend to those who have an artistic bone in them somewhere, because it's definitely cheaper than buying paints and paper. Peace out everybody!